Greetings everyone, it's Kaz here and boy am I a happy chap right now. I am so happy because we got a Star Wars Battlefront 2 trailer that leaked early. It is an official trailer. If you have any doubt in your mind that this is fake, that this is not real in any way, that this is a rumor, it was leaked from EA's official sources. This trailer is flipping bananas and it's awesome. Do not expect this to be the real trailer, the big proper trailer we're going to be getting this weekend at Star Wars Celebration. It was 100% 30 seconds long to the split second and you can also tell from the way the trailer is structured that it was clearly some kind of ad or advertisement that I'm sure they were going to use after the reveal itself. So don't expect that to be the full reveal. I assume we'll get an extended version of what we saw there at Star Wars Celebration. But what we did see was absolutely amazing. Obviously, I've been talking about Battlefront 2 and my optimism for the game for the past week on the channel, and we may end up getting pretty bad news down the line, stuff that disappoints us, stuff even at Star Wars Celebration, that may be the case. But for now, in this very second, I am over the moon with what we're getting with Star Wars Battlefront 2. I do feel really sorry for the poor person who accidentally leaked this on the EA's official sources. I feel bad for that person because there's a solid chance they may lose their job. Even though I don't want to rule out the possibility that they did leak this trailer on purpose. We've seen companies do this in the past. They do it to generate certain hype, and it is possible that that was the case, especially since it was only a 30 second thing. I mean, if it was a real leak, wouldn't they leak the whole trailer? There may be some stuff you can look into there, but in terms of the trailer itself, it was awesome. So, we pretty much got everything confirmed, at least in terms of the game's content and what it will include, that we ever wanted. I just want to also quickly clarify that I will not be showing the trailer here in this video, just for fear that it may be taken down. I don't want that happening. I'll see if I may be able to slide in some images here and there, but I don't want to show the actual trailer in its entirety or anything along those lines. Now, the first thing to take away from this trailer is that it's obviously gorgeous. This game is gorgeous, and despite the fact that these are obviously pre-rendered, I guess, CGI trailers. This stuff is in-engine, and considering we know how beautiful the Frostbite engine is with Battlefield and with the original Battlefront as well, it's safe to say that this game is just drop-dead gorgeous. It seems to just recreate everything in the Star Wars universe with such accuracy, it's beautiful. So the trailer starts out with a narration of a female character who appears to be some kind of Imperial Stormtrooper. Maybe she's a higher up in the ranks of the Empire or something along those lines, but I think it's pretty safe to assume considering she's narrating this, and we did get a look at her as well, that the campaign will be based around, and what we could gather from her narration and from what we saw on screen during the narration, it does appear that the campaign will be following her in the time span after Return of the Jedi, after the second Death Star is blown up, and we will follow the Empire in terms of what happens to them after that point. And that's super interesting. I am looking forward to just getting into the story of this game, because I think it is pretty safe to assume it will be canon like the original Battlefront, so I think they could tell a really interesting story here. The campaign definitely has a lot of promise, but we finally got Clone Wars, ladies and gentlemen. The prequels are in this game. Holy crap, I was actually planning on making a video because I wasn't expecting this trailer to leak, obviously. I was planning on making a video talking about how much I wanted the Clone Wars, how much I wanted the prequel trilogy in this game, despite the fact that obviously not amazing Star Wars movies, but there's so much lore there, there's so much that you can incorporate into a video game there from that source material, and I'm so happy they did it. I was going to make a video about the fact I really wanted it, but I highly doubt it was going to be in the game, and I'm super, super happy that DICE and EA listened to us, so thank you very much. Hopefully, this act of kindness gets you guys in the good books from us gamers' perspective for at least a little while before you stuff something else up. Probably the DLC pricing. But I digress. We got a quick look at what the prequel trilogy will hold. It is the least that we saw in the trailer in terms of errors, but we saw Darth Maul drawing his double-bladed lightsaber and what was clearly a close-up by behind from Yoda. So we can confirm, I guess from that, that Darth Maul and Yoda will be playable heroes in the game, which is bloody awesome, dude. Bloody awesome. And it looks like that confrontation took place. So there you go. I guess we can confirm Naboo as a planet that will be incorporated in this game as well. We also got a look at some stormtroopers and some when we got first introduced into the multiplayer section of the trailer. Pretty much what we saw in the original Battlefront, we're getting the original trilogy error again, which, which is of course brilliant. If they had taken it out, that would have been disappointing. So it's still there. It's still part of the multiplayer and that's pretty awesome. The game looks as beautiful as ever. So I guess there's not much to report on that front. But the trailer did also heavily emphasize 
on the First Order side of things and on the new era of Star Wars, the sequel trilogy, because we saw a glimpse of Rey running through on Takudana, so that's confirmed a planet now, and Rey confirmed a hero, as well as we saw Kylo Ren as well, so that's awesome. We're getting those two as playable heroes. We also saw a lot of action from aerial space combat, which is awesome. Now, I do have some fears that the space combat will only be a part of the single player campaign, but I do expect we'll get that question answered on the weekend at Star Wars Celebration. Starkiller Base is definitely in the game, at least the exterior area, because we did see the First Order TIE Fighters flying around that area as well, so that's going to be a lot of fun to play around in. So the game will be coming out, according to this trailer, on PS4, Xbox One and PC. Unfortunately, no Nintendo Switch like I was hoping for, but again, that was always going to be unlikely, so I can't be too disappointed. And it also did mention that if you pre-order the game, you'll get access to the last Jedi heroes as well. I don't know if that will be new characters or maybe some characters costumes like Rey's attire from The Last Jedi or something along those lines. I'm not 100% sure. I highly doubt it's possible, but I highly doubt that they will exclusively lock those Last Jedi characters behind that pre-order wall. I assume they'll become available to everyone at least at some point down the line. And as much as I completely hate pre-ordering video games, which is a topic I want to touch on at another time, if those Last Jedi, if those Episode 8 heroes are exclusive to the pre-order, which I don't think they will be, but if they are, on the odd chance they are, I'm gonna have to pre-order this game. I'm a sucker. There's a limit to me. I can't stand pre-ordering games, that whole culture and that mentality. I don't understand why anyone would want to pre-order a game for a skin or in-game currency. But if they're going to give me exclusive heroes, I've got to do it, dude. I've got to do it. My hype, as I'm sure you can tell, is currently through the roof for Star Wars Battlefront 2. Let's hope the extended look we get this weekend at Star Wars Celebration doesn't crush my dreams. But for right now, I'm super stoked. I'm super hyped. And I think... The thing we can take away from this is the moral of the story is that EA and DICE gave us what we wanted. So until you stuff up again, EA and DICE, thank you. I just want to say thank you. So what did you guys think of this Star Wars Battlefront 2 leaked trailer? Make sure you let me know in the comments section below. But that's enough from me. Thank you all very much for watching today's video. Do subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. But I'll see you all next time. Take care. Farewell.